Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is Total Body Toning. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We are starting with three standing exercises. We're going to do three rounds of them. The first exercise, if you want to grab a light set of weights, we're going to do a reverse fly. So what that looks like is we're going to take feet close together. We're going to keep a nice flat back. We're going to lean forward some. Okay. We're going to take our weights. We're going to pull out to the side nice and slowly. Like so, okay? That's too difficult for you. You can just do like a like a bent over row where we do a split stance and pull it up. They're both going to be back exercises. So if you want to do that when you can. But if you can, I want you to try feet together, forward lean, flat back, and then we're going to pull out to the side. Okay? So grab a light set of weights. We're going to do a 30 second round. Here we go. Good forward lean, flat back. We're out to the side. Make sure you keep the pace slow. We don't want to do it too quickly. We're not going to do too many because it's more of an aggressive exercise. Last one. Okay. You can place your weights down. We're going to do a stationary lunge. So if you want to hold on to something, you can. I'm going to hold on to the wall. We're going to take a long stride. Doesn't matter which foot you want to do. We're going to do both feet. So uh, put one foot way out in front, one foot way in the back. Take a long stride. We're going to keep our posture nice and tall. We're just going to go down. If you can go to the ground with a knee, great. If you need to just go a little bit shorter, you can. So I'll leave that up to you how deep you want to go. All right. So let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Good posture. We're going to go straight up and down. Only go as deep as you feel comfortable. Hold on to a wall if you need to. We're going to do 30 seconds on each leg. Okay. Make sure this front knee is not going forward. We want to kind of keep it very stationary. So we're not going to put any extra pressure on that knee. We're going to do three more. Two, one more. Okay, we're going to stand all the way up. Let's we'll switch to the other foot. Okay, long stride. Eyes up, flat back. Here we go. Straight down, good posture. Up and down. Make sure that knee doesn't go forward. We're going to keep it very stationary. Three to go. Two. One more. Good. We'll come all the way up. All right, next up, we're going to do a standing high knee. So, you can hold on to something again. We want to have nice, tall posture, pull in the stomach. We're going to start with the left leg on this one. So, don't lean back. You're going to take that knee as high as you can. And you're just going to kind of Tap around with the foot, and we're just going to go up and down. We're going to do front of the leg, hip flexor, okay? So let's go left leg first. And here we go. High knee. You want to get that foot out in front with the knee so we have that extra weight. Try not to have your foot under you. You want to get it out in front of you. Another 30 second round. We've got two more to go. Last one. Okay, take a second. Switch to the other leg. Here we go. Good posture. Pull the core in nice and tight. Just a nice light tap on that foot. Right tap, tap way. Maintain good posture. Three to go. Two. One. Good. All right. We're going to run through that series three times. So I want you to grab a set of weights again. Okay. 
Uh, if you were doing the bent over row, sorry, I didn't say it the first time. If you were doing just this one, you can change to the other arm if you remember what arm you did the first time. If you're doing the reverse slide, what we're going to do is going to go feet together. Nice flat back. You're going to lean forward. Okay? And we're going to go slowly up to the side. All right? So let's get that forward lean. Here we go. 30 seconds. Good. Try not to do it too quickly. We want to use the muscles. We don't want to use momentum. Okay. Keep your rhythm. You really want to try to lean forward as much as you can. If you need to split your stance out for a better forward lean, you can do that. You got two more to go. Good. All right. Place your weights down. You won't need them for the next one. We're going to do lunges. You can always do squats as an alternative for any leg exercise that we ever do in class. If you feel more comfortable just doing a set of squats, do a set of squats. But if you can do a set of lunges, I'm going to try to do something a little more challenging. So, our lunges. We take that long stride. Right? You need to stay stationary. It doesn't go forward after each one. We're going to either front or front. It doesn't matter to me. We're going to switch halfway through. So, good posture. And here we go. Up and down. You can always hold on to something for a little extra support. Three more. Two. Last one. All right, we're going to stand up. We're going to take about five, ten seconds. Let's get the other foot out in front. Same idea. Long stride. Holding on to something if you want to. Only go as deep as you feel comfortable. And here we go. We got three to go. Last one. Good. Stand all the way up. All right. Exercise number three. We have our high knee. You can hold on to a wall again if you want to. If you want to do it in free space, you can. Just make sure you're not going to arch back on your way up with the knee. This is a high knee. So you want good posture, tight abs. I need to tap the foot to the ground, and we're just going to repeat that leg, okay? We're going three, two, one. Go ahead, pick either leg. It doesn't matter. We're going to do half and half. Just a nice light tap on that foot. Ready to go. Last one. Good. Pause. Take a second. We're going to go to the other leg. We're going about five seconds. Same idea. Good posture. Hold on to something if you would like to. Here we go. High knee. Try not to lean back. You want to be up tall, so tight core. Keep your posture up nice and tall. Eyes are up. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that leg down. All right, we got three sets. One more time through. Let's go through that first one. If you are going to do a bent over row, which is the alternative, I'll let you know when we're halfway. You can change hands. But if you're going to do a fly, we don't need to change, so we're just going to go straight through. All right, you can do a split stance if you want to. I would prefer if you did feet side by side, good flat back, nice little forward lean, and then we pull out to the sides, okay? Uh, let's go in three, 
two, one, here we go. Forward knee, out to the side, nice and slow. And try to pull your shoulder blades together. If you're doing a bent over row, change your hands. Ten seconds. It's going to leave us time for three more. Here's one, two, three. All right, we're going to lose our weight. We have our stationary lunge. You can always do squats also. That will be your alternative. That would be a modified version. Uh, if you do your stationary lunge, you want to hold on to something, go grab onto something right now. I'm going to face towards the wall. Put my hands on the wall to keep my posture nice and tall. Make sure that knee doesn't go forward. Put either leg out in front, long stride. Okay, so this is our start point. And here we go. 30 seconds, you can do either leg first. We're gonna switch halfway. Yeah, two more. Last one. All right, come all the way up. We're going to take 10 seconds. Why don't we change to the other foot? Long stride. And here we go, up and down. Only go as deep as you're comfortable with. Three to go. Two. Last one. Good. And we're up tall. All right, we'll take 15 seconds before the next one. We'll do a high knee. Stand sideways, facing towards something, or you could do it in free space if you would like to. Use a nice tight course to keep that good tall posture. You can do either leg. We're going to try to get that foot out in front of us and not under us, okay? So, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Light tap. Two more. Good. Take a second. We'll go to the other leg. All right. And here we go. Other leg. Thank you. Grab a drink, take a break. We'll take a 30 to a minute long break. Why don't we take our weights and we're going to come down to the ground. We're going to do three exercises on the ground. As you're coming down, I'm going to show you what our first exercise is. So This will be our first. We're going to start with bent knees. We're going to do two parts to this. One is a chest fly like the reverse fly, except we're going to do it on our back. So we're going to go up in the air with the weight. We're going to come out nice and wide with the weight. If you can go to the ground with the weight, that's fine. We're going to pull all the way back to the top. Here's the second part. We're going to turn the hand. We're going to bring the elbows to the ground. We're going to press it back up, bring the weights together, turn the hand, come out wide. So there's two parts, okay? You're coming out wide, turn the hand, then coming down. 
turning the hand wide, turning the hand and coming down, okay? So we're going about 10, 15 seconds, grab your set of weights. You can lie on your back, make sure you have bent knees. That's going to take a lot of the pressure off your back, okay? Let's start with the fly. So that means we're going to turn the hands so they're facing so. We're going to come out nice and wide with the weights, all right? Here we go, nice and wide. Come all the way back to the top. Turn the hands, elbows to the ground. Back up, turn the hands. Fly goes out nice and wide. Back to the top. Turn the hands. Down the elbows. Let's just hold that rhythm, okay? Keep a nice slow pace. We don't want to go quickly. We're going to put added pressure on our shoulders the faster we go. This one we're doing a minute long set. We're doing two different muscle groups of the chest, so we're going to do a little bit longer. We've got 15 seconds. One more of each. Okay, pull your weights in nice and close to your body. You're going to place those off to the side. Next one. This is the back exercise. This is going to be a bird dog. So, when a bird dog will like, we've done it in this class before. We're going to go up on the hands and knees. We're going to go alternating arm, alternating leg. So, we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. And then we're going to alternate. We're going to go to the other one, arm and leg. Okay, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going about 10 seconds. Go on the hands and knees. If that's too much for hands and knees, you can always lie flat and do the same thing too. Just go opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. Try not to twist your torso a lot. You're going to keep everything facing the ground. And we're going to go to the opposite arm and leg. Arm and leg. Opposite arm and leg. All right, pull that rhythm. Try to extend it out as far as you can, too. We're going to do a 45 seconds for this one. One more each side. Here's our last one. Good. All right, we're going to line our back for the next one. This is going to be our core exercise for today. This is going to be a knee tuck. It's also called the reverse crunch. I'm going to give you two options. I'll give you a modified and a little bit more aggressive. So here's the more aggressive one. We're going to wedge our hands between us and the ground. We're going to pull the knees up. The head can stay down. Okay, here's the more aggressive one. There's different levels of it. So easiest would be bringing the heels to the ground close. Okay, this is going to be easier. If you want it harder, you can go further away with the heels. Just make sure that you can keep your back nice and flat to the ground. If you can't keep your back flat anymore, I want you to bring your legs in closer to your body. Okay, here's the modified version. You can do a single leg down at a time, okay? So one leg down the ground will be the modified. More aggressive would be heels close to the body. And then most aggressive would be heels farther away from the body, but keeping a flat back, okay? So only do what you feel comfortable with. Lie on your back. We're going to pull the knees up. We're going to wedge our hands between us and the ground, not under us, just between us and the ground. So you got a nice wedge. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. You can do a single or a double knee, okay? Just make sure you can protect your back. We're going to try to keep our back nice and flat. We don't want it falling up off the ground a lot. Keep the pace slow. It's going to help you from wanting to pull your back up off the ground. This is going to be a 45 second also. Go one more. 
Good. You can relax the legs. Next up, we're going to run through that series again. We have three exercises, three rounds. So grab your set of weights. Bring them in nice and close to your body. We're not going to go quite yet, but it's going to be our chest fly like so. Turning the hands and then a chest press. So a chest fly and a chest press. Grab your set of weights to get started with me. So bend your knees up. Arms go straight in the air. We're going to start with the fly, which means you're going to turn the weights. We're going to click them together. We're going three, two, one. Let's go nice and wide with the weights. Go back to the top. Turn the hands. Down to the ground with the elbows. Back to the top. Turn the hands. Out wide. We're just going to hold that rhythm. Make sure you do it slowly. We don't want extra pressure on our shoulders. Keep a nice little piece. Got 15 seconds to go. One more of each. Last one. Okay, bring those weights in close to your body, then off to the side. This is going to help protect your shoulders. Next up, we have our spine and back exercise. This is our bird dog. We're going to face towards the ground, hands and knees. Like I said, a modified version, if you don't want to be on the hands and knees, you can just lie flat. And do an alternating arm and an alternating leg. Okay, that would be the modified version. Uh, other version would be opposite arm, opposite leg. And then we go to the other side. All right, we're going to give it about five seconds. Go hands and knees. And then here we go. Nice and slow. Don't twist your torso. Keep your eyes facing the ground. Doing 45 seconds, we're up to halfway. Ten seconds. One more each arm, each leg. Last one. Good. Okay, you can lie in your back. going to be our knee tuck, also a reverse crunch. You wedge your hands between you and the ground. You don't have to get started quite yet. So you can do a quick refresher. I'm going to do either double with heels closed, double with ears further away, which is more aggressive. So make sure you protect your back. Or you can do a single down at a time. That would be the modified version. Okay, let's go in five seconds. Make sure your hands aren't underneath the back. You're going to be wedged between you and the ground. And here we go. Go ahead. I'm going to do the single leg modified on this one, if you're watching me. Feel free to do the double leg, and you can go a little further away. You can challenge yourself. Just make sure that your back doesn't fall off the ground a lot. You don't need that extra pressure on your dip. Got 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's go one more time through. This will be the third and final round. I'm going to grab our set of weights. We're going to do a chest fly, chest press combo. So, let's start with bent knees first. We've got to make sure we're protecting our back. We're going to go straight up in the air with the weights. We're going to start with a chest fly, which means we need to turn the, the weight so we can have a 
right ahead of us, click them together. This is how we're going to come out nice and wide. All right, here we go. Start wide, hold to the top, turn the weight, elbows to the ground. Turn the weight, out wide. We're going to hold that rhythm, we got a next step. Halfway there. Keep the pace slow. Don't go quicker at the end. You want to keep it nice and controlled. Easy on the shoulders. Ten seconds. In, you can place those down at the side. Good face the ground, hands and knees. This will be our bird dog, opposite arm, opposite leg extension. Okay. You can lie flat if you need a modified version. If not, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Seconds. Keep your body facing the ground. Easy to twist once you get tired. Each arm and leg one more time. Last one. Good. Okay, you can lie on your back. Last exercise. We have our knee tucked. You know, lie on your back, you're going to wedge your hands between you and the ground. You're going to pull the knees up. You have a single leg, or you can do a double. Just make sure you're protecting your back. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. Doing good. We got 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All set. Good job. Bring the legs down. Grab a drink. Have a nice weekend.